aside from the issues that some yourself and other colleagues are, are raising around capacity and so on, you have a particular issue yourself in that you would describe yourself as a pro-life GP who will be a conscientious subjector when this service comes into play. So as the legislation stands, you will be permitted to refuse to provide a service to a woman seeking a termination, but you will have to refer her on to a colleague who will provide that service. Are you going to do that? So, Katrina, this issue around referral is really, really important, and it's another issue that hasn't been addressed by the Minister. It's hard to believe that in two months' time, if things go to plan, we're going to have an abortion facility in this country where GPs who don't want to be part of it are going to face a uh, sanction by the Medical Council, or as Minister Harris himself said, will face the law of the land. I mean, how do you, how do you roll out anything properly? Surely you listen to all sides. What you certainly don't do is you force professionals, hard-working GPs, into doing something and being complicit in something that they, number one, think is not good evidence-based medicine, and number two, if it runs completely against their deeply held beliefs. So what we're asking is a stall to be put on this right now and for, for the government to really listen to our concerns. GPs are in their hundreds uh, saying that they're not going to participate in a referral system, especially when it shouldn't come to that. In a digital age, in an age where access to all sorts of information can be found online, there should be no need to force a GP into making a referral. I don't think it does the GP any service and I certainly don't think it does any woman any service either. All right, and these are the issues, of course, that the Oireachtas will, Committee will be discussing over the coming days. But for this evening, Dr. Regan, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for joining us.